Hello everyone. Today I'll talk a little bit about our investment philosophy called INQ. An investment philosophy is an idea that we as an organization believe will generate good returns for our investors over a longer term. To develop an investment philosophy, we went to the basic questions. What is alpha and how do you do better than the crowd? Alpha means beating the market on a risk adjusted basis. How do you generate alpha? How do you generate this outperformance with not taking proportionate risk as the crowd? There are three sources of alpha. The information edge, the quantitative edge and the behavioral edge. In the information edge, fund managers, analysts, investors work to collect more and more information about the business and the management to forecast better the growth and the earnings of that company. It is an important edge to have. If you don't have the right information, you are not able to make the right forecast and you will not do better than the crowd. But information edge over the years has become expensive and difficult. When everybody is hunting for more and more information, plus through many sources now you are bombarded with a lot of information, getting material information ahead of the crowd all the time for all your securities is very difficult. In some, some pockets, information edge does work, maybe in some small cap or micro cap areas. So if everybody has the same information, can you still do better than the crowd? The second edge is the quantitative edge, or it is often also called analytical edge. Everybody has the same information, but if you have a model, a financial, a analytical, or a quant model, which forecasts better than the crowd, you can do better than the crowd. Of course, over the years, even a model can be copied by others. If one model is copied by everybody, then it stops generating alpha for you, then you again become part of the crowd. The third edge and the most important edge is the behavioral edge. Suppose everybody has the same information and everybody has copied each other's models. You can still generate alpha, which means do better than the crowd if you have a behavioral edge. Traditional finance believes that everybody is extremely rational in their decision making. But research in behavioral finance has proven that people are not always rational. Plus, the patterns of moving away from rationality are also systematic, which means they can be mapped to some extent. What I'm trying to say is, by superior behavior, being a little more rational than the crowd can help you outperform the market. Behavioral edge has two parts to it. One, reducing your own behavioral mistakes. If the crowd is moving like a pendulum between greed and fear, if you also move with the same pendulum, you don't generate superior returns. But if you avoid your behavioral mistakes, don't go to the extremes, you can create a behavioral edge. On the other part, you actually take advantage of the crowd's behavior, their overreaction or underreaction, their greed and fear. That's the second part of the behavioral edge. Combining the two, reducing your own mistakes and taking advantage of the crowd's mistakes gives you an edge or helps you generate alpha. At Bajaj Finsur VMC, we combine all the three edges of generating alpha, all the three sources of generating alpha in our investment processes. That's why it is named INQ. It stands for information edge, quantitative edge, and a behavioral edge. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risk. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.